So here we're standing in front of a stand of 38 mature Chinese swamp cypress. Now it was only very recently that we realized that this stand is a wild stand and that's of incredible conservation importance because this, although it was once a very, very common and widespread uh, tree species all across southern China into Indochina, it's now considered by the IUCN as critically endangered in the world and that's basically the highest risk category of any plant or animal. And the, the current understanding is that there's only 250, less than 250 wild individuals, mature wild individuals uh, anywhere in the world. And there's basically three countries where it still occurs, Vietnam, Laos and China. And obviously here, if we have 38, that's of real conservation significance. And they're here, as we discussed earlier, because this is the lowest part of the golf course. So here we have basically permanently inundated soils. And even though we're at the tail end of one of the driest wet seasons ever recorded in Hong Kong, uh, the water table is only about 30 centimetres below the surface here. Like I say, for a long time we didn't really, and I'm talking about we, you know, the golf course didn't really realise the, uh, the importance of this stand. And obviously it's important to communicate that value. And previously they were kind of hidden in plain sight that you actually you couldn't see them. The best way to see them was to walk all the way out onto the golf course and look back. But with this walkway that was built over the, uh, over the dry season, we can now bring people in and can help see them up close. I mean, our nearest swamp site for us is the mature individual is just here. And there are literally seedlings a meter away down here. And one of the other really, really cool things about the swamp site for us is they have what are called knees. And these are adaptations of the roots and because they, they grow in these permanently saturated soils they have these pneumatophores like mangroves do and these roots they come up above the surface of the soil and they're one of the ways that the tree can get more oxygen into the root system and that's really unique in fir trees in conifers so again really interesting adaptation and if we look around here there's scattered knees everywhere and uh, these knees really light and historically in China they were used as uh, fishing weights or even life-saving de life devices and that's one of the reasons why it's such a rare, rare plant throughout southern China.